Hi, Ovidio. How are you? Hi, Ovidio. How are you? Hello, hello. Can you listen to me? I'm fine. Yes, I, I, I listened. I listened to you. Es que estoy teniendo problemas con el audio. Hello? Talk to Hello. Me. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but I I can't I can't um, hear everybody because the computer sound is very low. Okay. If I can connect my speaker. Yeah. How was your day? It was great. Remind me, where do you work? I work in Etesal. Et et ah, okay, tell me, what is your company about? My company is about the transmission electricity. Electric transmission, okay. Electric transmission from El Salvador. So, but it's not like guys. Yes, yes, it's, it's similar. Okay. Similar. Etesal take the energy from the generators and 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 fly or go go it to the distrib distribution like a Caes del Sur. It distributes Le electricity. Yes, it's like a, a street. Huh? It's like a street where the the electricity fly to the to the to the service. Oh okay. Nice, nice. Interesting. I was telling everybody that I don't know I didn't know if I was going to be able to connect because I can listen to you. Was that, but the thing is that my com the computer sound on my computer is very low. Ah okay. Because this is not working so very difficult to listen to everybody so it's very difficult to listen to everybody or it was going to be very difficult to listen to everybody tell me how do you feel the platform tell me about this the platform is is good is is excellent how did you learn english where did you learn english uh, in the, in the past tense, in, in the in the past. Okay. And where did you? Or, learn? Yes, in the past. Where did you learn before English? Um, I I went to the the CCLS in Garcia Flamenco. How, how many years did you study English? In, I studied English for two years, but it's a, a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Okay. How old yeah. are you? I, what? How old are you? I'm, I am 51 years old. Years old. Okay. Oh, don't worry. You're still young. 50s, 40s. <laughs> uh, Good evening. Hi, Jose Roberto. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And you? Okay, great. Um, I was telling you in a video that I have problems with my computer. I don't have headsets because my audio system is not working. So I am trying to figure out what happened. And with my other class, I had to suspended because Zoom kept me, you know, 
I was logging in, logging in and logging in. I don't know what happened. It, my Zoom went crazy. So I'm sorry if it gets disconnected, okay? Or it's okay. Okay. Oh, the volume on my computer is very low, so you have to speak very loud to me today. So I can listen to you closely. Hi, Elias. Okay. How are you? Knock, knock. Well, guys, we're going to get started. Um, remember last week we were talking about many things. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. What were we talking about last week? The, the use of or the what and where. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were using we were Very talking good. about what else? How much, how many? Countable and uncountable also? Remember? Yes. Okay, very good. And I made you guys make a list of countable and uncountable words. Do you remember? Hmm? Yeah. Okay, now, what is it? What do you understand? It's the difference between how much and how many, for example. What do you understand with how much and what do you understand with how many? For example, how much is used to 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 flatten the price, okay. and the, how many, for example, to plural on countable objects? Now, very good. So one is for countable. Okay, it says here. I want to know the quantity or amount. How much? How much time left do I have? How, how much are you going to be staying in El Salvador? So sometimes when we don't know, when it's uncertain information, we use how much, okay? How, how many relatively or in a way, we can actually say how many tomatoes do you need to make that delicious salad? Oh, I need three, right? So much is more for intangible things or items situations, emotions, etc. And how many it's more used for things that you can literally count, right? Okay, Let, give me examples. I want you to shoot examples of using how much and using how many. How much is how many? You want a Say it, loud. Say it loud because I cannot listen to you because I don't have my headset, my computer is not. Do you want a sentences or a question? Yeah, you could ask ask questions, for example, how much what? How much is the price for that laptop? Mm -hmm. How much is that laptop? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't need to say the price because you're already saying how much. So you're referring to how much for that laptop? Oh. How much is that laptop? How much is that kitchen? Okay. Um, how much is okay. that lamp? Mm -hmm. So how much is and then whichever item you want to ask for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions okay. with how much? Examples? How many students are in the class? How many students do you have in the class? That's with many. Very good. Um, 30 and connected right now only five but 30 um, how much time does it take for you to complete the platform give me an answer for that one how much time does it take you guys to finish the platform I have already done finish uh -huh. I I already finished all. Very good. Excellent. Good job. ¿Cuánto tiempo te lleva en completarlo? For example, what's the amount, the approximate amount of time? You asking me right now? Let's say five hours. Okay, it takes me five hours to complete the platform. So, what happens is that much is for infinitive things. OK, 
okay? Like money, like time, okay? Now, you cannot measure it unless you use specific. For example, liquids, people say liquids like milk, like, uh, like juice, like wine, like rum. Can you count or can you not count? What do you think? It's not count. Can you count milk? Can you count rice? Can you count um, stars? Can you count non count. Non count. But you can count a bottle of milk. Yeah. A gallon of water, right? Yes. The liquid itself is something that you cannot count, but the measurement in which it comes is something that you can count. So that's the difference between one and another. Now, but I found something very interesting, and this is something I think I shared with you, that we also have nouns that you can count, but also you have nouns that you cannot count. It all depends on the context. Now, this is something, it's just for you to know, but it's not, people really don't stop and pay attention to it, like if you can really count it or not, right? It's just for you to know. This is just like, okay? So iron, glass, time, paper, light. Can I share this image with you guys? I did, right? I shared it with you, right? No, those, those, the those you didn't. Okay, no. I'm going to share it with you again, okay? I will reshare it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to share it with you. So that way you have this idea that you can also have non count that can be countable or not countable, okay? Nouns that can be countable. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes I get confused because they like, for example, they say about bread, if like it is countable or not countable. Bread itself? No. Slices of bread? Yes. So, es la medida, es en lo que viene, es como se mide. So it's just that you can count, you cannot count pizza, for example, but you can count the slices of pizza. Okay. So you count how you measure it or how you put it into context, but not it, not the item itself. So what I was telling you about milk. So it's milk is liquid. We cannot say one drop, two. You can actually say it, but you're not going to be like, okay, let me see how many drops. You're going to say a gallon, a tint. You're going to say a pint, a, let me see, five gallons of water, etc. But you're not going to say one drop, two drops, three drops, four drops of milk, for example. So you can, it can be countable or non-countable depending on the context or how you measure okay. Mm -hmm. or how you put it into. Okay, so now, today we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be learning a little bit about how to use many, much, a few, little, a little bit with countable or non-countable nouns. But I found, that since I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, uh, hopefully, yeah. let me share the video that I have ready for you um, with no audio, so we're gonna go this way. Step by step. I found something that is going to be interesting for you in regards to. They're called quantifiers. Okay. They're called quantifiers. Let's see. Let me share it with you. Are you able to see it? Are you able to see my screen right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at much and many, which is what, like what you were telling me. It's very difficult sometimes to know when to use it and when not to use it, okay? So we have much, many, lots of, and a lot of, okay? A few, a little, right? Those are called quantifiers. Why are, what are they quantifiers? Because we can measure them somehow. Okay, now there isn't much time left. Okay, left. much. Yeah, much, much. We use it with time or with things that are infinitive, much. right? 
because you're not telling me specifically. You use it with things that are not specific, specific or specified. Okay, but there is, on the other hand, you have the other team doesn't have many points left. You can count the points. So you can use many with things that you can actually count, but you use much when you're not really sure of the time that's going to take you. Like I was asking you, how much time does it take you to complete the platform? You don't have a right answer because, for example, Ovidio can say, well, on Mondays I have a lot of work. So you know what? I can tell you that maybe like 20 minutes I spend doing cool activities. But on Tuesday I have like an hour. So every day will vary. So time varies. So that's why it's uncountable. It's not specific. But points, you can actually say, oh, I have five points. Okay, how many points do you have with Texaco? Do you have points with Texaco? <laughs> I have no. like seven, I have like seven hundred points with the example. I don't have oh. points. <laughs> so that's like five dollars of ga of diesel. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you can actually count many, but you cannot count much. Okay, now here we have another example. We're scoring lots of points. Okay, we won a lot of matches. When you use just the word lots of uncountable okay we have by the way this is a new word for you terremoto replica is a sismo o temblor okay terremoto is an earthquake temblor, earthquake. Temblor is a tremble a trembler and tremble yes and replica is a shake, shake. now we have had lots of shakes this past week <clears throat> because we have, there's an activity, it's an ongoing activity, it's happening, but we cannot, well, you know, some people can actually tell me, oh, see, we have been having like 60 or 80, right? People that actually work there, right? But in our case, we kind of feel, we know that it's been, it's been shaking, the earth move under your feet, you can actually feel, but you don't know, you don't, you're not counting how many times it has been happening versus saying, Last week, they reported a lot of shakes. How many? 60, you know? If you check it out on Twitter, they're going to tell you it's like 60. So you see, a lot of, yeah. you can count them. But lots of, you can't, okay? You cannot count them, really. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Now, we also have, there are a few rounds left, okay? And with a little look, we'll we will best uh, our score. There are a few. What do you understand by a few and a little? What's the difference, guys? For you? Can you count a few? No. Yeah, rounds, no yes. Yes, you can, you can count. In this case, in this case, in this particular case, you could count how many rounds. For example, mm -hmm. um, yeah. there are a few rounds in boxing. How many rounds? 12 mm. rounds, right? Uh, 12 rounds, depend. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to give you an example. But with a little, you're not really sure. You're not telling me if it's 10%, 30%. So you're not sure of it. So you cannot, it's not that countable as per se. So you cannot really count a little, okay? Now, we have much, we have many. We also have lots of, remember those words because I'm going to be asking, a lot of, a few, <coughs> a little. But then we have two categories, which is going to, they're called quantifiers, but there's two categories. I'm going to start, uh, share the video right now. It, and actually, it indicates amounts or, or quantities. Now we have two. It's divided into two. We'll see in a bit which ones you can count and which ones you can count. But before we jump into this, I want you to tell me how many did, did we have in total? Mm -hmm. Juan Carlos? Hi. 
correctly. Can, can you repeat? Ah, you're not paying you attention. <laughs> Claudia? <laughs> Sorry. Marlon? Neftali? Nicolás? Can you repeat? Can you repeat, please? Please, <laughs> teacher. How many did we how many did we have in total? Um, total of what? Mm -hmm. Six. For oh, those words? Much, many. We had six. Much, many, lots of, a lot of, a few, a little. Excellent. But now we have, you can divide it into two groups. For large quantities and for small quantities. And this is very important. <clears throat> large quantities, much, many, a lot of. Okay? Much, many, a lot of. How much milk do you want? Okay. I don't have much time left. I need to go. Now, here. Here, I could make much countable. How much milk do you want? Oh, I want two cups of milk. Okay. I could actually measure it using the word cups. But whenever I ask, it, it, whenever you're asking, it's uncountable. But whenever you answer, you can it's answer countable. It's countable. I'm not sorry. using the type of recipient or measurement for each item, okay? I don't have much time left. I need to go. Yeah, I don't have much time left. How many minutes do you have? How many minutes? So minutes is countable. You can count minutes, you can count hours, you can count seconds, but time itself, you don't. It's infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Okay. Many, we know we can count it, right? How many flowers do you need? Um, there are not many oranges left, so count, if any, you can count. It's plural, countable nouns. And usually, you use this for in, interrogative means questions, okay? A lot of and lots of, we were talking about that, right? Lots of, it's uncountable, and a lot of, it's something you can actually count. They had a lot of fun. There are lots of carrots on the table. So one is uncountable and the other one's countable. So that's the difference between one and, one and another. But this one's not that commonly used, okay? I'm gonna pause it here. <coughs> I'm going to stop sharing for a bit and I'm going to stop sharing my video. And I want you to, I'm going to share something. I'm gonna give you a couple of words and I want you to tell me, okay, if it's many, much, a lot of, to see if you're actually understanding how to use it. Um, it's the words here, okay. And I'll go by names. Ha ha. See. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. Uh, let me start with Javier Merino. Are you there? Javi, are you there? Marlon, are you there? Yes, it's here. Okay, Marlon. So if I say um, a lot of animals, can I count a lot of animals? Yes. Yes, I can't. No, teacher, you can't. If I say a lot of animals, can I count them? Who said no? Nicolas. Why, Nicolas? Because a lot of is using when have uncountable words. Well, actually, you or can count a lot of animals because you could say um, a lot of uh, my grandfather has a lot of animals in his farm. He has five 
uh, let's say five turkeys and and two hens and a cow so if you start Lord. placing them in categories you can count them so you can count a lot of animals okay now another question guys can you count a lot of help no you can't excellent you cannot no, count a lot of help can you count um a lot of ag a lot of fun no you can't teacher no 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 teacher can you count um can you count some cities yes yes teacher what yes you can can you count immigrants no, no you teacher can. No. no you can't yes, you can mm. there were a lot of immigrants at the embassy asking for asking for a special permission so you had a couple of salvadorians for um for from Honduras, so you can actually come count them. Honduran immigrants. Mm -hmm. What about transportation? Can you count transportation? No, you can't. Very good, you can't. What about you cannot? Can you count some news? Some what? News? No. No, yes. no, you can't. Very good. You, you cannot. cannot count news, but I want you to tell me. You cannot count news, but you can count stories or headlines or articles, for example. What is news? News, noticias. Noticias. News. Uh -huh. Ah, news. Okay. Okay, but you can count articles. You can count headlines. You can count blogs. You can count... Um, Comics. <laughs> Comics, <laughs> very good. That's what you, <laughs> a mafalda, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, Olafo, Olafo was the one, right? Olaf, Olaf. True, <laughs> good Okay, what about um, wisdom? No, you can't. Mm -hmm, very good. Restaurants? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Very good. Yes, it can. It's difficult sometimes. I know it's a difficult exercise. I know it's a very sad. it's a very difficult exercise to know which ones you can count and which ones you cannot count, right? I know it's a difficult exercise to do. Okay, so um let me go ahead and go back to the video here because we're gonna have a game. Really quick. Where are you in the platform? I want to know, guys, where are you in the platform? What topic are you doing right now? What topic are you doing right now? For me, it's a 2.2. .2. Okay, 2.2, .2. very good. Yeah, I am in the 2.3 lesson. Okay, very good. This one's 2.5, the one that I was... Okay, so I want you to go ahead and I want you to... Do... The knowledge check with... I'm going to set you up on um, break rooms and I want you to work on the platform for a couple of minutes while I look for this interesting game to play, okay? Um, but I want you to do until... Let's see. You're in 2.5 or 2.2? You said 2.2, right? Is anybody else in 2.3 or 2.4? I want you to do 2. Point, up till 2.5, okay? You want okay. to do again? partners or in groups? What's better for you? Partner. Partners? Okay. Partner. Okay, partners. Okay, so I'm going to make six groups of two. Give me a minute. And I'll set you up. 
to work on that for a couple of minutes and I'm going to be just jumping from one group to another. That way I can. You say 2.5? So it's going to be six groups of two, okay? There you go. Bye, work, enjoy. I'll be back with you. Pero no tengo el, no me aparece en el intermedio uno. ¿Cómo no? Es en el intermedio módulo uno. Es el primero. What happened? Can I help you? Teacher, I, I'm looking my, my course, English Pre Intermedio uno. And I can find it's your email plus your password one, two, three, four, five. It's like a generic password. Yes, for yes, I login. You cannot open intermediate. Yes. Only can see my my two left courses. Pre intermedio dos and pre intermedio tres. Uh, if you want, Claudia, why don't you send? Can you take a pre uh, screenshot of your screen and send it to him through WhatsApp? So he can just go with you through the exercises. That way he can read what you're reading at. Uh, teacher, the subject is count in the rows. No. I'm sorry? Uh, the section two. You have to work on the section two, uh, from 2.1 all the way to 2.5 together. But if he doesn't have access to his platform, just send him the picture of the exercise so he can do it with you. Well, let me see if I can send it to you because I'm, since I'm in Zoom, I think I cannot copy and paste. Let me try. If not, I'll send it to the group, okay? You're in that group, right, Madam? Okay. You are on the grad sub group. The 2.2 morning check. Teacher, you will send it.
Creo que ya no está. Ah, 2.5. Si sí, no puedo ver los míos. Y, y ya te saliste. Si sí, ya me salí, volví a entrar con la contraseña. Y no me aparece. Where's everybody? They left? Wilbur, where is everybody? Did they leave? <clears throat> I did. Hi, maybe they went to bed. Maybe they went to bed. No, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I am from the meeting because um, I am only <laughs> in my group. <laughs> Yes, I don't I don't know where everybody else is. They disconnected. No, maybe no. they didn't connect to the platform. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they are working on the platform right now. Oh. Which screen are you in? Let's work together. I'm going to work with you guys. What okay. exercise are you in right now? I am in the exercise uh, uh, two dot four. Okay, two dot four. Mm -hmm. Ah, but that's the listening part, right? Yes. The video, yes. okay. Yeah, the video, exactly. Okay. I'm watching the video. Mm -hmm. Knowing what we went over right now, which one do you think would be the correct one for the first one? There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city or there aren't many two police officers in my city? <clears throat> what do you think would be the correct answer? The correct answer is... Abby or Wilbur? Uh, what is the correct okay. The number one. The first one? The number one. Okay. There aren't too many. What about number two? There is too much traffic. So the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, or enough highways. There is much traffic, fewer highways. More highways. I think it's more highways. Okay, let's check. Uh, which is correct. There are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution in my city or there is too much pollution in my city? I think it's the, the three. There is too much pollution in my city. The third one, very good. There is too much pollution in my city. Next one, okay. complete the statement. I can't sleep at night. There should be le okay. less noise, more noise or too much noise. Is less noise, more. Mm, too much noise, I think. I can I cannot sleep at night. Uh -huh. There should be too much noise. That's loud. Loud. Mm, less, less noise. Excellent. Very good. Less noise. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Too much is way here, but less is. Complete okay. the following statement using quantities of expressions. Too many, fewer, more. Make sure not to use capital letters. The government needs to build. Needs to uh, Need to build. 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 
like this. How how much? No. Bill. Bill. B ah, okay. Bill. Bill. How much highways? How much? How much highways? No. Buy another one. Mm, how much? Um, we don't fit. The, the capital is so small. The country is so small. We need. In plural. More. Need more. Too much. Too much? much? No. We need. Okay. Oh. Mm. Um, you can use uh, one of these ones. Too many, fewer, or more. Uh, more. Pero como ya no cabemos, mm -hmm. we need more. More, more oh, highways. Okay. Very good. Too much is cuando way too much. Okay, for example, wow, that music is too loud. That is too much. I cannot tolerate that. O sea, es demasiado, okay? That's what okay, it teacher. means. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yay. Mm. All right. Oh, look at this one. We had one incorrect. So okay. there aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. No hay suficientes. Enough means suficiente. Okay. Suficient. Okay. Good. I don't have enough money to travel to Europe right now, but I will next year. <laughs> or I, whenever I have enough money, I will buy a new car. Or I will take all my class to dinner for Valentine's Day. <laughs> or something like that. Enough is como cuando tenga suficiente o suficiente. That's what it means, okay? Okay. Enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any questions on any words here that you don't understand? Maybe vocabulary or words that you don't know what they mean? Mm. Uh, one question. The lot of teachers. What, what the, ¿qué quiere decir lo, a lot of? Mucho. A lot of son sí. como um, muchos. Muchos. Mm -hmm. A lot of. Pero a lot. lots son muchos. Well, a lot of is mucho sin S and the other one is muchos. Ah, ya, ya lo entendí. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, cool. So one, one, in one case you could count that one, but in the other one no lo podría contar. No se podría contar. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Any other question here that you might have? Mm. Not for the moment. Okay, so we did this on 2.5. Let's go to the next one. Can you can you help me read, please? Yes. Uh, learn how to ask in answering direct question in English. In this, in this lesson. Lesson? In this lesson? In this lesson, practice using indirect question for this condition and, and city. Oh, let me move it there. Or new destination. Or new destination. By the end of this class, you will be able, able? able to form polite and direct questions. Such has, could you tell me where the bank is? Could you tell me where is the bank? Where is the bank? Is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? ATM is. Can you tell me how how, how often the often uh, how often how often the the buses from? E, do you know where I catch the bus? Where I can catch the bus? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Is the lesson will help to seek information using polite. Grammatical correct English. Grammatically correct English. Very good. Grammatical. So talking about destinations, huh? Wilbert, have you traveled um, outside El Salvador? Have you visited any country? Yes, I travel in and to Miami and Jamaica. Okay, uh, Jamaica and Miami. Imagine, yes. imagine you you had the opportunity to travel anywhere anywhere in the world where would you like to go 
uh, I like travel, uh, for example, to to Alemania. Uh, I like, I like, I like uh, travel to Alemania. Why would you like to go to Germany? Uh, I'm fanatic from the uh, the Second World War. The, uh, I like for the view the the monuments to the war. Okay, wow. So you know a lot of the history of this, the First World War and the Second World War. Do you uh, like to read? Uh, can you repeat, repeat, repeat Mr. No, yes, I mean. do you like to read? Do you like to read books? Yes, yes, I read in books, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you, are you, do you know a lot of the history of Germany? Yes, teacher. Okay, and if you had the opportunity, if you could go and visit places, where would you like to go in Germany? What places would you like to visit? Uh, for example, is this the, the, um, for example, it is the, the city where the uh, Judeos, Jews, mm -hmm. Jews was, uh, where? was put in the, uh, on the uh, uh, it's a, in ghetto, I don't know, a ghetto, this, Recién is the uh, the anniversary. Este city, este este site, perdón, es este. Bah, se me olvidó el nombre. Uh, pero como la barraca donde estaban, no sé cómo se dice eso. Where they were executed. Oh, okay, getting executed. I I like visit, for example, this site because it's historical. An historical place yeah. and if you had the opportunity to take someone who would you like to take to visit this place with you mm. can you repeat this no, I know no, yes if you had the opportunity to take someone with you who would you like to take with you maybe somebody from your family or friend or oh. Maybe with the family. You would like to go with all your family? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Very expensive. <laughs> yes, yeah, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, what, this is your first option. What would be your second option? What other country would you like to visit? Uh, the other country I like visit, for example, or for example, the, the, France, yeah. France? Yeah. France, sorry, France. Uh -huh. To visit the mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I like visited to, for example, the, the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel, uh -huh. Eiffel Tower, okay. Eiffel Tower. Okay. Nice. There's many places that we could actually go around the world, and some of us are um, interested in history, or some of us in their culture, or maybe uh, their cosmopolitan life, their environment. Because in my case, if I were to choose, I have a couple of countries. Uh, maybe Australia, Canada, or Sweden. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I have heard that the quality of lifestyle, the way, you know, their culture, how they inherit their culture, for example, in Canada. Mm -hmm. In Canada, it's very interesting that in front of the parliament, at night, you can go and sit down, and um, they will project on the um, on the parliament walls outside. They will project the story of Canada, mm, and okay. for you to become Canadian, or if you want to be part of of that country, you need to know a lot about their history, where they come from. So every night they have like night shows, in where they project the story of Canada. 
Also, um, I am interested in, in checking out the, the guards that they stay 24 hours standing up in front of the monuments, taking, you know, they're like guarding them and then they change at 3 p.m. They change guards so people go and actually film this event. There's a lot of uh, historical places to visit also, or like in, in Australia, they have this amazing museum. I just forgot the name of it. Um, in Sydney, I think it is. Um, some, you know, I'm very passionate about opera and about a, a symphony music. I, I like it a lot. So I think that, you know, visiting places where you can actually get the opportunity or that glimpse of historical, you know, or of cultural events, you don't get that opportunity every day. So I would like to go to a Broadway or I would like to go to a, to a music, you know, to check out opera live, right? So it would be really interesting. I would like to visit these countries because of this, because of their culture and their, their background mainly. Okay, teacher, good, good. Yes. <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, well, okay, okay, sorry. No, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. So everybody logged out, Javier is not there, I think. Javier, are you there? No, yes, no. So um, I'm going to share, I'm gonna share, because everybody logged out now, I'm gonna share a couple of uh, slides, okay, of countable and non-countable nouns. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to fix the problem of my computer because I, I cannot listen uh, okay. good enough. So hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll be able to correct that. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you, Wilbur. Okay. Please rest. Enjoy the rest of your evening, please. Did you have thank dinner you. already? Yes, I am dinner. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay, so go to okay. sleep. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I need the uh, complete uh, one task from the word, but, but it's it's little. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It's a small task. You take work to your house. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. You have a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope you finish fast. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank rest, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being so responsible Bye. and joining in on time. Bye. 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 -bye.